During World War II, the German Luftwaffe used the V-1 flying bomb to terrorize England and Belgium. Known as the Buzz Bomb and Doodlebug, the first V-1 fell on London in June 1944. Launches primarily took place off the French coast due to the V-1's 150-mile range. It flew between 3 and 4,000 feet at a top speed of 400 miles per hour. But without a pilot, how did the V-1 navigate? It used a magnetic compass, timer, and gyroscopes. Once over its target, its engine shut down. That's when the one-ton accelerated missile fell from the sky. From 1944 to 1945, Germany manufactured over 30,000 V-1s. About 8,000 arrived as intended. The Allies aggressively reacted to block the attack. Through their efforts, over 6,000 buzz bombs were destroyed or deflected. About 25% of buzz bombs failed and crashed. As a result, only 2,300 hit their targets. They claimed the lives of almost 5,500 and injured another 16,000 people in London. Its successor, the V-2 rocket, became the first long-range guided ballistic missile. Did you know that the V-1, on loan from the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum, was restored by the Air Zoo's restoration team? Check out a video of the V-1 restoration coming soon.